A long time ago, families were in extended communities. They were local, they were small. Um, children and parents largely worked together with neighbors on things that just needed to be done for daily living. I was born in the very depth of the uh, Great Depression. If you know anything about the Depression, it actually began on the farms. At that time, I, w I wasn't much to help, but I can tell you later on, I was put to work carrying wood, carrying water. I knew how to shell peas, I knew how to break beans, and I had a little wagon, so I was the, the water girl instead of the water boy. But that was the kind of things that we did. You had responsibilities in the barn with the animals from a very early age. It's getting harder and harder to find you know, 80, 90 you know, plus year olds that have that perspective that we just have no concept of what it was like to live in that kind of scarcity. My mother was raised just like about like her great grandmother was. I was raised pretty much like my mother and dad were up to a point, and that's the way with my kids. They were able to change, but they had to change so much faster than I did. When you guys think of your parents and how they grew up, what do you imagine? So they had no internet, no smartphones. What do you think they did for fun? Um, I, I don't really know how they would like communicate with their friends. Faxing, something in the 70s, faxing. If you've seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I imagine their life was like Charlie. It was definitely far different than what it is now. Lots more kids outside. A lot more like being outside than inside. I was outside 24-7. We were told to get out of the house, either in or out. So if you wanted to go outside, you were out all day. I pretty much lived on my bike. I would ride my BMX bike. I fall in love with a baseball. <laughs> but we would play kick the can in the middle of the street. Capture the flag to manhunt to wiffle ball to basketball to. We built a zip line and it was actually made out of clothesline, which I I would not recommend. Yeah, you went outside. You went and rang the doorbell. Hey man, you want to play and pick up somebody sort of one house at a time until you had a posse. We'd go to Scott's house. Last time we saw the two of them, they were with Jennifer. Then you went and did whatever you want. And before you knew it, you had the whole neighborhood outside. When the street lights came on, we had to come home. Had to be home when the lights came on. You know, when the street lights came on. When the street lights came when on. The street lights came on. Came home by dinner time. <laughs> came home when it got dark. And parents would look at you quizzically like, why are you here already if you're sitting around? But I think if we want to sort of be more real and focus on what people are experiencing now, we probably would want to be talking about the information revolution. When I was a junior, I was taking a class and our professor was like, we are going to communicate with another college class in Sweden. And we were like, how? How are we going to do that? So we all went to the computer lab, stared at this black screen, and we typed in like C colon backslash backslash all these numbers. I remember thinking this, why would anybody do this? And she had this thing called AOL, and there was this dial-up internet thing, and it was like burp, 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 burp. And then all of a sudden she's in this chat room. And particularly over the last 20 years, we've just seen this explosion of innovation and new technology. I do remember the first time somebody said, you've never Googled something? And I was like, what's Google? Yahoo meetups. I think they, they came before MySpace. Facebook was born like the week our oldest son was born. So yeah. when we look at him with his adolescent awkwardness, like that's... That's how old Facebook is. My kids are way better at using apps and mobile devices now than I am. They can pick up any mobile device and just, it's so intuitive, they know exactly what to do with it. Just pick it up and just be like, okay, there you go. And you're just like, what did you do? I've seen kids run circles around parents. You know, technology moves quickly. It's like the Wild West. I try to keep up with the latest. By the time I'm aware of what it is, they've gone on to the next one. How do you keep up? It's something new every day. It's very difficult to opt out. It's already too late. The train has already left the, st the station way before I realized, and I'll never catch up. 